Irrational expressions, example number three, two over x plus one plus five over three is two over x. The, the kind of challenge with this one with the three different terms is that it's kind of tricky to cross multiply. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, I could times everything by x over here, but I might, and I could times everything by x plus one over here, but then the three goes there. And it, it does get, it's kind of doable that way, but it does get a little bit tricky. So since we kind of like those two equal fractions for cross multiplying, we can, I'm just going to deal with the left-hand side and get a common denominator over here and then cross multiply. So a common denominator between 3 and x plus 1 is obviously going to be 3 times x plus 1. So 3 times x plus 1. So like usual, I had x plus 1 and now I have 3 times x plus 1. So obviously I've just multiplied by 3. So I'm going to do the same thing to the top. I'm just going to go 2 times 3 up in the top. And really, you know, if the 3s divide out, that puts me back at 2 over x plus 1, which is what I have. For this one, okay, I had three, now I want three times x plus one, so obviously I've multiplied by x plus one. I have to do the same thing to the top, five x plus one. And this becomes equal to, I just leave the right-hand side for now as two over x. So that's really just common denominator work. Now once I have this common denominator, which I do, I know I can put the numerators together. So I'm gonna do a couple steps here. I know two times three is six, I know five times x is five x, and I know five times one is five. And I'm just gonna put those together over my denominator of three bracket um, x plus one equals, same thing, two over x. Okay, so I just combined these two things. I, I did the distributive property and then added this to this, because it's positive, I just added it all together on top of the denominator. And now I can do that, that cross multiply step like this. So I'm gonna have x, Sorry, I'll put these together first, actually, sorry. So let's go six plus five, let's do this. Let's go, let's go five x plus 11. Okay, over, and I can leave this, but I guess I'll expand it out, it might be easier to see. Three uh, x plus three equals two over x. And now I'll do my cross multiplying step that we um, tend to like. So I'm gonna have x times everything up here. So x bracket 5x plus 11 equals, you know, two times everything down there, two bracket 3x plus three. That's gonna leave me with x times 5x, 5x squared, x times 11 plus 11x equals two times three, 6x and two times three, uh, six. I'll put my terms together. So I have my 5x squared here. I'll my six, I'll take away six, 11 take away six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, plus five X. And then I'll bring the six over here, becomes negative six equals to zero. That's my quadratic. I can try to factor this thing, two numbers that add to five and multiply to negative 30. So a negative 30 is gonna be 30 and one, 15 and two, 10 and three, six and five. So it's not gonna work factoring. So I'll, I'll kick into the quadratic formula again. And I would have X equals negative b, so it's negative five, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 25, minus four a c, all over two a, two times five is 10. And look at this, I have negative five, plus or minus the square root, it's gonna be positive, so four times five is 20, 20 times uh, six is uh, 120, 120 plus 25 is 145, 45 over 10. And then here what I do is I try to figure out, I have this 145, which doesn't have an integer root. I write my calculator here, if you guys can see that, hopefully. Um, you know, obviously I could go roots, uh, 145 doesn't work. I get 12.04. 12 12 so now what I'm gonna try to look for are numbers with integer roots that go into 145. So I'd be like, you know, 145 divided by four, doesn't work, 145 divided by nine, doesn't work, 145 divided by 25, uh, nope, 145. I mean, eventually you're gonna realize it's not gonna happen. I guess 36 is actually pretty close. Uh, 145, I mean, there's no way 49 is gonna work. And you, you realize it's not gonna be able to break down. So, because we can't break it down and we like our expressions um, in exact form, we would just stop there.